when you're late. Not easy to get down here these days. Now, you didn't think joining up with us was going to be too easy, did you? But if you change your mind, we can help you find your way back. By help, you mean they'll kill you. Shut up. We all know why we're here. It's initiation. Last man standing gets to join up. The rest of you? Getting the short end of the stick. No. No, I think you need all of us. Besides, work's much harder to come by these days, given the circumstances. What are you talking about? He's talking about that hood guy. Word is no one's seen him because he hides in the shadows. I mean, we've seen him. He runs around like some kind of hero, but he's really just too scared to fight. I don't know, man. Heroes are supposed to protect people, not kill them. We've seen him kill before. What does he look like? Where he wears a cape? No, where'd you hear that? It's a hood, not a cape. Some say he's a hero, but we know what he really is. Wait, well, I said he should be joining us. No, he won't. Because he isn't one of us. That's why you're all here. So that when he does show up, we'll be ready. But we don't just take anyone. We need the best. So as I was saying, last man standing. Welcome back to WSHN, I'm Lindsay Porter. And if you're just now tuning in, we're talking with Greg Summers about the vigilante known as the Hood. So Greg, are you saying then that because he takes out thugs, we should put our trust in this vigilante? Well, no, Lindsay, not necessarily. I'm, I really think that's something everybody should decide for themselves. Uh, but I, I do believe Stonehaven has seen a decrease in crime ever since the Hood showed up. What about the acts of terrorism that the notorious bloodshot has committed on the city? Why hasn't the Hood done anything about that? Well, uh, to be honest, Lindsay, I really don't know, but, you know, why, why don't we ask the families of the numerous people he saved? 
you know, they might imply that he is. I'm inclined to think that his acts are heroic, but, you know, I'm, I'm just one person. Well, what do you have to say about the acts of crime that the Hood has committed himself? He's broken the law. I believe the police are investigating him at this moment. Would you still consider him to be an outlaw then? You know, I can't speak on his behalf. What I can say on the matter is, he gives me hope. It is my sad duty to inform you of the death of Officer Avery McKinnon, who died last night. He passed away from several wounds inflicted in an undetermined manner in an alley between Broad and Holland. The perpetrator is still at large and unknown. We will inform you as more information becomes available. This is a sad day, and our thoughts go out to Officer McKinnon's family. I assure you that the individual or individuals in question will be sought out and brought to justice. What was the exact cause of death? Several gunshot wounds. Do you have cause to believe that this killing could be in connection with the Mafia or Endgame operatives? I have no information on that topic at this time. We will inform you as further information becomes available. With these attacks becoming more and more regular, can we expect the SHPD to keep us safe? I assure you that we are devoted to the cause. Detective North, Lindsay Porter here. Could you please spell the name of the victim, please, and yourself? Officer Avery McKennan, M-C-K-E-N-N-A-N. Avery spelled normally. My name is Detective Nora North, N-O-R-A, North spelled normally. One more question, Detective North. What is your response to the allegations of the witnesses who claim it was the enigmatic figure known as the Hood who shot and killed Officer McKennan? No comment. That will be all. But it doesn't make any sense, Nora. Why would the Hood suddenly switch from Thug Basher to Cop Killer? It can't be him. But don't go thinking you're so sure on this. We need to conduct our own interviews. I don't recall saying I was sure about anything then. It's been brought up, and that makes it worth looking into. What concerns me more is your childish obsession with him. It's not an obsession. We just can't keep the peace on our own anymore. This isn't the mob we're dealing with, Nora. Every little bit helps. One of our men is dead. Doesn't that matter more than giving some criminal the benefit of the doubt? I just... I just don't want a motion to get in the way of our judgment. While you're worried about that, I'll be catching a cop killer. Find those witnesses, get them in here. It's been 12 hours already, and I'm not letting this trail go cold.
What do you want? You know why I'm here, McKinnon. You're too late. It's done. I know what it is your employer does, McKinnon. And I can assure you, I'm better at it. Avery McKinnon. You ever think he might have been crooked? What? Nora. Not me either. I just don't understand it. I can't see the motive. And what was he doing there in the first place? I don't know. I heard he might have been involved in the Hillsborough incident. Hey, you guys hear about McKinnon? Yeah, we were just talking about it. You know anything? No, but it's weird. I saw him last night. What did he have to say? Anything seem off about him? Um, no, not really. He did take off of work early. He didn't say what for either. I'm sure it's nothing. Evans. I know you just started here, but you can speak your mind. <laughs> well. I don't know anything, but I gotta say, I really don't care that much. I never did like the guy. Come on, everybody drops the ball sometimes. Look, if we all start pointing fingers at each other, we'll be in a bigger mess than we already are. Maybe you're right. Come on, let's go feed the vultures. The press will be here by now. I'll come with you. All right, that's it. Let's get back to it. Beth. Excuse me, Detective. Um, I was wanting to follow up with you on the armed robbery from yesterday. Right, well, everything I had to say on that I've already said in my report, sweetheart. Where are you going? Detective Evans, is that right? What's your first name? Thea. Thea, okay. Well, that's a pretty name. Look, I'm going out because I'm a detective. That's what we do. We don't stay in the office a lot. We, we have jobs to do. But, uh, you know, if uh, you wanted to come along, well, that'd be fine, too. What do you say? Do you? No, thank you, Avery. Your loss.
Please sit down, Officer McKinnon. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Good. So you know where you stand. We shouldn't be meeting like this in public. If anyone saw you me... You underestimate me. The fact that a detective has walked into this place unmolested is a testament to my control over these... Heathens. But what do you want? What do I want? To congratulate you, of course. What you did at Hillsboro was downright admirable. I need the money. You needn't explain yourself to me. You didn't answer my question. Don't be so sore about it. Do you have what I asked for? Maybe I don't want to do this. You don't understand. You needed that money. You made a compromise. And you thought you could just go back to being an upstanding citizen again? You thought wrong. I own you now. Do you? Now give me the names. I want protection. I can oblige. Soon this city won't have anyone to do the protecting. What about the Hood? The Hood is finding his place in the city like the rest of the criminal world. I can't make any promises because, unlike you, the Hood won't make a compromise. See, he lives by his own code. That is the only thing that I give him credit for. Now get out. I will contact you when I need your services again. 